I waited, waited for my Lord. And he heard my cry for help. He reached down to me and pulled me up from out of the wasteland world of the dying, from out of its mud and its mire. And he placed my feet upon solid rock, making my steps steady, and he set in my mouth a fresh new song, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and honor and trust in our Lord. Happy is the man who has made the Lord his object of trust and who has not turned his trust towards the arrogant enemies or towards those who have turned towards the way of the lie. You, my Lord, my God, you have made and given effect to many wonderful and miraculous acts. If I tried to proclaim them, to try and speak about them, they are too numerous to recount. And you give us much thought. There is none to compare to you. You have not taken pleasure in sacrifice and food offerings, or you have dug out my ears and opened my understanding. You have not demanded mere whole burnt offerings and sin offerings. Then I said, See, I have come with the scroll of the book that is written for me. My God, I take delight in the doing of your will, and your law is at the very center of my being. I have announced the good news of deliverance in the great assembly. Behold, my lips I have not restrained. This, my Lord, you know. I have not concealed your justness within the confines of my heart. I have praised your trustworthiness and the deliverance you have provided. I have not concealed your graciousness or your constancy from the great assembly. And you, my Lord, you will not restrain your compassionate mercy from me. Your graciousness and your constancy will continuously watch over me. For distress and suffering have completely surrounded me. Until they are beyond measure, the guilt of my iniquities has overtaken me, and I am not able to see clearly. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head, and my courage has forsaken me. My Lord, let it please you to deliver me. My Lord, hurry to help me. Let those who strive to take my life away be put to shame and be altogether mortified. Let those who desire my injury be ashamed. Let those who say to me, Aha! Aha! Be appalled at themselves as the wages of their shame. And let all who search for you 
rejoice, and let them rejoice in you. Let those who love your help continuously say, Our Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor, wretched, and needy. My Lord and Sovereign will devise a plan for me. My God, you are my help and my deliverer. Please, do not delay. <laughs> 